Hey, we're Colony House. And you're watching Cinderblock. I, I mean, honestly, some of my first memories are getting a, a drum set and a guitar for Christmas when we were like, I'm probably four and five. And, and I, I started playing drums and quickly, probably within the first 30 minutes, was like, nah, this one's not for me, let's trade. My mom was a piano teacher for a short time and she also put, like accompanied the choir at our church. And actually, while she was pregnant with me, the choir uh, and her, they went on like a national tour and they played at the White House. That um, was your first memory, dude. My first memory. I was in, in my utero. mom's belly. Yeah. And uh, she was she was playing for Ronald Reagan. Um, but wow. then, like, and after I was born, there was just always piano music. I house. like Ronald Reagan. You should stick with that. Your first memory of music so was, was your mom playing piano for piano Ronald, Ronald Reagan, Reagan. Yeah. <laughs> while, you were, while I was in the, in the womb. In the womb. I feel like we get to have those moments like a lot mm -hmm. right now. Uh, whether it's like, I'm specifically speaking on the side of like, hearing like maybe how a song has impacted someone's life. I was, we were in a city and we had a, 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 a girl volunteering for our merch. And right before she left, she, um, she was like, ah, can I tell you something real quick? She was like, I was, I was thinking about taking my life. And, and the day before I kind of was planning on that, I heard one of your songs, and I can't, I think it was, this was a while ago, I think it was a song called Moving Forward. And, and she was like, it, it, it changed my life, it saved my life. And to be a part of that is like, I think people throw the word humbling around a lot, but that was truly humbling. So Leave What's Lost Behind is the album title, and it is, there's a ton of themes woven in and out of it. A huge one was dealing with insecurities, um, dealing with these kind of made up narratives that for me, as someone who's communicating to a lot of people at one time, like I can make up all these narratives on, on how I'm not, I shouldn't be where I'm at, this isn't good. Uh, all of these things that everyone deals with. Also diving into um, kind of cracking the code or cracking the like that lie and, and, and coming out on the other side where finding hope in dark places um, uh, kind of claiming it as like when we hit the bottom it's not the end you know there's hope there that's when that's actually where hope kind of exists is at the bottom of the barrel uh, when you feel like everything else is is gone Caleb had this crazy idea actually like a couple of years ago and then we finally made it happen the day after we put out leave what's lost behind this new record there's this venue in nashville called cannery row and it's got a small room a medium-sized room and a, and a big room we just so happen to have three records. So we were like, let's play three shows in one night. Play the first record top to bottom in the smallest one, second record in the medium, and then the brand new record uh, in the big room. Uh, and so we did, uh, and it was probably the most exhausting <laughs> night of our lives. Um, but it was, it was so much fun just because like, I mean, it also sold out kind of instantly when we put it on sale. 
Which is another yeah. thing we did, we're did. we not used to. My mom called me and was like, the link's broken. And I was like, oh man. And I called our manager and was like, manager, Maybe. link's broken. <laughs> we, we gotta sell tickets to the show. Uh, you know, like, let's make sure the link, and he texts me back, he's like, link's not broken, sold out. Yeah. And so I, I had to tell my mom she couldn't come. <laughs> <laughs> The most important thing for us is to just be faithful with the like microphone that we're given right now, and we'll see if that's a thousand people, if that's a hundred people, or if that's ten thousand people. We just want to like uh, we get to communicate something every night, so we want to we want to um, exist for good. That's right.